Hi friends, welcome on board for another project. This time I decided to design this 1 amp USB type C lithium battery charger. So here is the USB type C connector. This fat guy is the battery charger chip and this brother is for battery protection. And these two blacks are X edge connectors to connect the battery and your output or, or I mean your target circuit. Back side of the board, here is the PCB board, I mean the bare PCB board. You can download this project for free of course from my Altium 365 space. First follow this link and register on the Altium 365 website and then simply follow this link and download this PCB project for free. Uh, it doesn't matter whatever battery you want to charge, a lithium ion, these type of batteries or lithium polymer, these types, all of them are supported by this circuit. In the next step I will go through the schematic and PCB, just don't miss that because I will, I will explain everything regarding the schematic and PCB. All right, now I'm in front of the computer and here's the home page of my Altium 365 cloud space. Let me show you the menu. I have created this my Vanitar space and I have uploaded all of these projects so far. And of course you can create your own space for free. Just follow this link in my YouTube video description and register on the Altium 365 website. But you may ask, what's the main benefit of this Altium 365 that I emphasize? The main benefit is when you upload your project and add your colleagues or friends as a, and your colleagues or friends in the workspace. And when, for example, you modify a component value, for example, a 10K resistor to 4.7K, all of your colleagues or your workspace people will get that update instantly live on the cloud and you can imagine how much this feature is time saving when you work on a complex PCB project and you have to discuss and modify many things with your colleagues how many emails that you want how many emails you want to exchange and you get confused and nervous with tons of emails and misunderstandings so of course this feature is very important and time saving and time is money. Anyway, here is the latest project. This is the schematic document. This one is the PCB layout and this one is a 3D view of the PCB board. Let me start with the schematic. Here is the PCB connector and I don't know for what reason it doesn't show the USB logo because my Altium schematic has this logo. Uh, probably I should also upload that PNG file here also. Anyway, uh, these two resistors are pulled down to indicate that this USB type C is on the load side and it should carry a high current. And the value is important. Both of them should be 5.1K. This is a ferrite bit 1206. Uh, this ferrite bit and these, cap these capacitors help to reduce the input noise, especially high frequency noises. This is the battery charger chip. The part number is XT2052. These two LED. LEDs indicate the charge status. This R4 defines the charge current and the maximum charging current is 1 amp. So dependent on your battery, you should define the charging current. In the article, I will show you how you can calculate this, the value, the, res the resistance of this R4. C3 and C4 are for output noise reduction and to stabilize this charger chip. And this IC2 is to protect the battery. And everything is embedded inside the desk chip because similar chips uh, uh, does not have internal MOSFETs and you have to 
implement or use two MOSFETs, uh, two external MOSFETs to protect the battery. But for this chip, everything is embedded inside. And this is the, this is one of the main advantages of this part number. These two components are recommended by the data sheet. And as I said, these two connectors are to connect the battery and your load or your circuit to the circuit. So here is the PCB layout. Let me enable just the top. So as it is clear, uh, the top layer contains a polygon and this polygon doesn't have a loop because the free area are covered by the ground and this ground should not have any loop. If I show you the bottom layer, the bottom layer is almost a solid ground plane. I mean, ex except for these areas, is almost a solid ground plane. And all of these techniques are to reduce the length of the ground, length and impedance of the ground path. And for the same reason, I have put these wires in the critical areas to, re to minimize the impedance of the ground. Uh, let's go to 3D. So here is the top and beautifully it rotates the board and shows the bottom view of the PCB board. And let me enable and disable the pads. You can see it's a, this is a very good and nice feature for presentation. For example, when you present your PCB work with your colleagues on a big flat TV, HDMI, uh, HDTV or 4K, 4K is better. Okay, I think I covered all of the points. In the next step, I will connect the battery to the circuit and I will show you how it works. All right, welcome on board again. This is my mobile phone charger, Samsung type. It's a 10 watt charger and of course this side is USB type C. Now I plug it to the mains and this side, of course, should be connected to this USB connector. And naturally, because I have not connected the battery to the circuit yet, the charging LED blinks like that. So this is the X-Edge connector. Um, in practice, keep these wires as short as possible. But here, because I want to show you the charging current using this clamp meter, these wires are a little bit long. Even if you don't like the X edge connectors, you can uh, directly solder the wires to the connector pins. You can see on the PCB. Anyway, let me connect the battery to the wires. And there we go. If I zoom in, you see, the charging LED, the red one, lights up, indicating that it charges the battery. So now, let me adjust the clamp meter for the DC current. And here it shows the charging current. Do you remember the, uh, the resistor that defines the charging current? You can define the charging current by the formula that I give you in the article. So I defined the charging current to around 500 milliamps and this, this um, uh, tolerance is because of the tolerance of the resistor and of course because of these wires. So I think I covered most of the points or all of the points. I hope you like this video and this project. So charge your batteries and have fun. Give me a big thumbs up. We will do something else in the next video.